Hello students, this is Mr. Justin. If you need to retake the quiz, meaning you got a five out of eight or lower, a five out of eight was a D, anything lower is an F, and I of course want your scores to be higher than that, I want you to be showing me 75% or above, I want you to retake the quiz. Before you retake, I need you to watch this video that I'm talking on right now so that you can take some notes. So you should have out a line sheet of paper and you should fold it into eight sections, or excuse me, four sections, so you can use the front for half and the back for half. That way you can capture your notes. Make sure you watch the video before you take the quiz. All right, here's the old quiz. It says find me product. The word product means multiply. To multiply decimals, we need to count the digits to the right of the decimal. In this case, there are three digits. My answer should also have three digits. I'm then going to multiply 125 times 37. Whichever way you use to multiply, you need to be able to come up with 4, 6, 2, 5. You might look over here in the answers and think, oh, well, then it must be that one, D. No, we got to remember that this is decimals. This is a number that's around 1 and a number that's around 4. If we estimated 1 times 4 is approximately 4. So the only possible answers it could be is C and A. So we look at our answer and we need know that we need 3D. 1, 2, 3, decimals. And there we go. Okay? Next one, number two. I'll we'll switch colors. 15% of 80, if you selected 15, you took the easy way out and you got it wrong. 15% means the same as 0.15 times 80. It means the same as 0.15 times 80. So you need to have two decimals. And once you get that, I know you can get it. You should end up with 1200. Zero, zero, and with two digits to the right, excuse me, I keep saying decimals, I mean digits, two digits to the right, you should end with 12. Okay, number three, it says estimate. When we have an estimating problem, Five through nine rises up. Zero through four, we actually leave it the same. So we look at the three and look one to the right, which is an eight, and we know that that is closer to four. So we're going to go up to four, and 2.3, we look one to the right, zero through four, that goes down to two. So we end up with four times two, and the estimate is eight, okay? Next one, every morning, Mr. Jessen's wife drives 4.7 miles to work. After work, she drives 4.7 miles home. She does this trip five days in a normal work week. How many total miles does she drive in that week? So you gotta think, she is going from our house to her school, which is 4.7 miles. And she comes back 4.7 miles more. So I need to add those two together. And you should end up getting 9.4. Then it says multiply times five days. You have one digit to the right. You can see that this is about nine. Nine times five is 45. Um, so it's gotta be either A or B. And if you do the actual math, it comes out to be 47 miles. You may have gotten 470. You only know, need one digit, and there it is. 47.0 is the same as 47. All right, Mr. Higby, he's letting his beard grow. 1.15 inches, it says, Two years. 
how many months are in a year? 12. So two years would be 24. And this one's pretty easy. I think you can even do a process elimination. You should be able to come up with A as your correct answer. I get 2D. I multiply, I get 2, 7, 6, 0. Slide the decimal to the left. 2D, two digits. I get 27.60. Okay, Miss Cooper. She's buying art supplies. Actually, I'm going to clear this and slide it up. Miss Cooper is buying art supplies. Remember that how tax works is price plus tax equals the bill. And the tax is not a percent. Percent doesn't mean money. It means part of money, okay? So the price here is $23.50. To find out the tax, we need to do 8% of $23.50. How do I do that? Well, I can erase that. I need to do 0 0.08 times $23.50. And whatever that is, I need to subtract it from 23.50. Excuse me, add it. We're adding the tax, okay? So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, B. This comes out to be 1, 8, 8, 0, 0. I get 1, 2, 3, 4 digits to the right. I get $1.88. So I do 23.50 plus 1.88, and I end up with B, 25.38, okay? All right, Mr. Hour, taking the T into McDonald's. He buys himself a Big Mac for 2.35. He eats it while all the students watch. And he also buys 12 Happy Meals, each one costing 4.99. 12 Happy Meals. So you need to do 235 plus 12 times 499. 12 times 499. And I actually know that 12 times 5 is 60. So this one can't be it. It's got to be more than 60. Because we have this 235. The only one that's a little bit more than 60 is A. And if you did the actual math, you would also come out with $62.20. Okay. Let me erase this. Mr. Lopez bought some new shoes that had a regular price of 64 but were 25% off. Sales price is found by calculating regular price minus the discount is going to give you your sales price. We know our regular price is 64. Please don't just subtract $25. That is not the same as 25%. And don't subtract 25 cents. That is not the same as 25%. 25% means for every dollar you save a quarter or save 25 cents. So this is $64, you're saving 25 cents every time. So to do that, we need to do 25% of 64, which is the same thing as 0.25 times 64. And then subtract that, and I should end up with $48. This came out to be 16, so 64 minus 16 is 48. Another way of looking at it is this. If it was 100% of the price, there was no sale, Mr. Lopez would have to pay $64. If it was 50%, that would be half price, $32. 25% is half of 50, which is 16. So that's not how much it costs, but it's actually 64 minus 16 gives you all right, I'll show you the advanced ones real quick. 
number nine and ten, we had the quotient of two, one, three, six, divided by 1.2. How dividing decimals works, you gotta go to the divisor, which is the one outside the garage. Move it over however many places it takes to get to the right. In this case, it's one. You gotta then take your decimal and move it over one. Add a zero if you need to. Move your decimal straight up to your quotient. I have 12 into 21 once. I'm going to use D, M, S, B, R. Divide, I then subtract 93. 12 into 93 is seven times, 84, 96, eight times, and zero times, I end up with 1780. Answer C. Last one, Brandon studied at home for a total of 18.75. How many hours did he average per day? It says hours per day. So you do 18.75 divided by 15. 15 into 18 is once. 15 into 30 is twice. 15 into 75 is five times. And your decimal goes straight up in your answer. Should be 1.25 hours per day. Then you click submit, of course. All right, after you've gotten all these notes, if you need to go back, if you don't understand one, don't take the next quiz. Ask me in person for help. And then you can take your retake. Good luck.